open that coop door. Okay. And see if you can get that, push that chicken out. You don't have to be forceful with her at all. Hey, girl. Just, just shoo her a little bit. Okay. Here you go. Okay. You want to, can you prop this door open? I usually put a pretty thick bed down and uh, I mean it takes about a third of a bale of hay and I do this every other week so I mean you're talking about a, a six dollar expense for a month and a half I mean it's just kind of worth it to us here um, and so I just use a uh, this is a cement scraper um, I actually found it on the side of the road one day uh, and it's come in quite handy You've never done this before. It stinks. You know, when I first started, we had six chickens. That's now grown to 20. When I built this coop, I think I needed room for about eight chickens. Now I, I really need to redo uh, this and see if I can fit some more space in here. I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. You know, they, they say to do a nesting box for about every five chickens. Uh, and I've got four nesting boxes and they all lay in the same one. So I'm thinking about just taking it out, reworking it and having just the, the one, well, two nesting boxes down at the bottom and then put a few more um, cross beams up here so that uh, the hens can all get up on the top row where they all want to be. Is this a Jason designed a nesting box? It, it obviously <laughs> is. <laughs> I love it. Um, I love it. It's dirty right now, but he'll clean it. Yeah, and you know, it's. Uh, I don't come from a farming family. Um, I, I didn't ever spend time on a farm, so everything that I've done is what I've either learned off YouTube or researched on the internet uh, or just kind of thought up on my own. <laughs> so, um, you know, this is one of the things that I, I thought up. And uh, so I built my, this coop uh, completely by myself. And Once you, again, a Jason design. It is a Jason design. So if you'll come over here and look. Okay. Um, yeah, as y'all can see, there are houses around us, and we do have uh, two roosters. And I wanted to be a good neighbor. And when I built this, I put a layer of insulation in here. So that's, um, I think it's one inch thick uh, insulation. And, I mean, obviously it's still open in the, the ceiling. It's still ventilated, but it does muffle the sound a lot. You know, if we're laying in bed, we can still hear it. Uh, first thing in the morning, but it's not loud. So maybe we keep one there, but then add one like that. I like that. 
Okay. Can you hand me my drill, please? They're scratching at the door. They are. No, that's Chief like scratching dog. at the door. Yeah. Because he's got three girls trying to get in to lay. Okay. There's someone keeping them from doing that. I'm just taking the top part off. Oh, okay. Um, because I really just want them nesting on the bottom half. This will actually be another place for them to nest. Oh, okay. Or not nest, excuse me, to roost. Okay. Um. So just what be does like, it mean to roost? Is that them sleeping or? Yeah. Oh, I need to put hay in that first. Putting hay in is super easy. There's not a whole lot that you have to do other than get it in there. They will spread it out and they'll get it how they want it. Can you see these little divided sections? There. You can reach in there and grab onto that. And see how much more came out? All right, hang on. That might be enough. So when you um do the nesting box, you want to make sure you got a good amount of hay in there. They like a nice big clump of hay, and they will sit and peck and move it around. And I just tend to fill it up and let them deal with it from there. Um, but now we've got a little more space in here for them to lay. Um, let's get this closed up and let those girls in to go lay. Well, a lot of them like to get into the hay and pick through it. Close that for me, bud. Um, so a lot of them just know that I'm changing this out because as soon as I open this back up, they're they going to want to come in and start sorting through the hay. All right. Tell us what we're going to do with this bucket of hay then. This is actually going to go onto the compost pile now. So it's been about 20 minutes. Oh, wow, look at that. So they've made a nest and they've already laid one egg. And it's a nice clean egg. morning we had come out here and moved the silkies who are broody. Oh, there they are. And we determined that that was not a good idea. We had thought we had ruined them being broody, but it looks like they just want to be inside the coop. So we will no longer mess with that system they have. And it's almost 4.30 so the girls are starting to come on in for the night. Valentine's Day Zach. Let's look what's in the box. Oh, 